Ugh. Um, poor Ryan's in his wife beater. Ugh. We got He's gonna hype. He's gonna get hypothermia fast if we don't cuddle him to make him warm. <laughs> okay, serious, serious, serious. He's gonna. How, we we need to do something for for him. Well, yeah, but Ryan's like. Still angry with me? Yeah. I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. Oh. In other circumstances, I'd be very. In other circumstances. I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. Fair enough. Fair enough. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Well, according to my, according to the trophy, yes. My achievement, yes. Yeah. I earned. Yeah, hey, I earned that achievement. I earned it. Body heat, body heat, body heat. That's it. Breathe in, breathe out. I don't think tongue will help with the heat at all, but it can't hurt. It would be horrible if their tongues froze to each other at this point. Like, it would in a bowl, but anyway. See you on the other side. You don't say that. Aiden, can't you do something? Oh, it can't end like this. No, it can't end like this. Please tell me that's the rescue squad. That's the rescue party. But where's Nick and all the other people that... I hope there. that's... It's them. Oh, they're still alive. Thank goodness. Whew. Hauntings. Agent 894732. Okay. You have earned a trophy almost too easy. I don't know about that. Good night, Princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. Hmm. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Is this the same night after, you know, that incident? You get some sleep. The same night as the incident when she saw the mom and the, the wife and the daughter? I wonder if it is. Can I do anything? Okay, well maybe... Ugh, fine. Alright, we're going to go through our usual, lit usual ritual. Turn to one side. Turn to the other side. Monsters come out to terrorize us. Rinse and repeat. Oh. Oh. Hi, Nathan's daughter. Way to not be creepy or anything. Okay. All right. Hi. Can, can Aiden talk to you? Can he translate? Oh, this is very creepy. Alright. Oh, well, okay, so we're playing that game, are we? No, hold on, wait a minute. Where is... Before we do that, where is... 
Where is... Where is Cuddles, Bunny Gruff? He's not on the... Where is he? He's not on the shelf. Where? Where? Did he fall on the floor? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Nathan's daughter, but, like, you have to wait. This is, this is a true emergency. I can't... <sighs> do you know... Did you do something to, to Cuddles, Bunny Gruff? Tell the truth, okay? <sighs> where is... Where is Cuddles, Bunny Gruff? Oh... We're gonna have to call the authorities. This is, this is, this, we need to report a missing, a missing, uh, a missing bunny rabbit. Uh, all right, well, he better be back in my room when he comes back. That's all I have to say. Or she, rather. I think Cuddles is a she. Really? If I had known, oh, hi. If I had known that Escaping from my room was this easy. I wonder why it was so hard for Jody later on. <laughs> I, I mean, I know why. I know why. But is there anything else here? I never get to see what's behind these doors. Come on, Aiden. You're no fun. I want to see what else. All right, all right, we're gonna keep following wherever it is we're going. I don't remember his daughter's name. Okay. This reminds me of a scene in Earthbound. I don't think I can go in there. No, I can't. <sighs> What's in here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I recognize, this is Nathan's office. Oh, he's asleep. No, he's not. He's, he's, oh, he's crying, poor thing. Okay. All right. Can we go? Oh, wrong room. This one, this one. I, I think this is the same night, the same night where we mentioned that we saw, I think we mentioned to him that we saw his wife and his daughter. Poor Nathan. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. Yeah, see, about that, um, I sort of saw your, your dead daughter, and she kind of wanted me to come over here for some reason. Uh, poor Nathan. I would offer you my cuddles, bunny gruff, to help you feel better, but I can't find her. And it's really driving me nuts right now. Oh, okay. Now I I get it. I know what's I know what we're doing. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We are here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Helen. We and love Lord. you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. They said what Please. they need. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. They said what they needed to say, you know? And that was a lot. Hopefully that's enough to put him at ease. <laughs> I'm really surprised we went back in time. I feel like 
you know, the last scene was the climax, but then we came back here. So I'm wondering what the writers, why the writers decided to do that. Looks like there's still more stuff. Black Sun. So this happened after our mission. After Ryan and Jody got rescued. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. Good. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. I was afraid of that. And we're gonna launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. Oh, I was afraid of that. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space or developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. Oh, boy. When you this start... This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. This is not good. I, I knew this was going to happen. I saw this coming. This is not good. Is that Ryan? Ryan, honey, we need to talk. Now. <laughs> We need to talk. Uh, first of all, I want to see what else is around here. Level one to four. Go talk to our boy. <laughs> Pentagon top brass getting you down? They were busy talking about their plans to take over the world. So I left them to it. Yeah, we played our part in all of this. Yeah, well. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom, and that was stupid. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. I think I need some time to... to figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. Figure out what I really want. <laughs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen, Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. No. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. It's worth a try. <sighs> little by little, baby steps. I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. You'll forget about all this. Ah, there cool. you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet oh. you in a few. Cole. Never say no to a single malt. <laughs> Great. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody. Nathan's waiting. Uh, the cool uncle here that he is. Oh, Cole. You cool uncle you. Okay, guys, I think uh, I'm going to have to end it here. Thanks again for watching this episode of Let's Play Beyond Two Souls. Tune in next time, everybody, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.